In this video, I am taking different types of probability based questions and with different scenarios of real life. Okay. Like the first question, they are saying there are two players, Sangeeta and Reshma. Correct? The probability of Sangeeta winning the uh, game, the probability of Sangeeta winning the game is 0 0.62. Then we have to find the probability of Reshma winning the game. When can Reshma win the game? When Sangeeta is going to lose it, right? So what we will say, the probability of winning and the probability of not winning. Now this I am taking for Sangeeta. Okay, that should add up to be 1 because all the possible probabilities will all, always add up to be 1. So I am going to talk about for Sangeeta. For Sangeeta, the probability of winning plus the probability of not winning is equals to 1. If she is not winning, then Reshma is winning. Correct? Now probability of winning is given to be 0 0.62. Okay. So let me say probability of not winning as not W is equals to 1. So P of not winning probability of not winning will be one takeaway 0 0.62 which is equal to 0 0.38 okay now if this person is not winning and there are two people who are playing the game if one is not winning automatically that will be the probability of the other person correct so what we will say here the probability of reshma winning will be 0 0.38 so probability of Reshma winning the game will be 0 0.38 because that much, that many games, the probability of not winning for Reshma was 0 0.38. Correct? Next, Savita and Hamida, they are two people, and we have to find out the probability that they both will have their birthdays on a different day or on the same day. Okay, now I'll start with the same day, the second part, and I'm going to find the first part. Okay, so in a year, if it's not a leap year, they already said it's not a leap year. So total number of days in a year is equal to 365. Okay, so I'm going to take the first second case. Okay, I'm not doing the first case. If both share the same birthday, right, that means it will be same day any day but it's going to be same day so probability of same birthday both people are having the same day right so probability of same birthday will be what 1 over 365 because they are celebrating on the same day right so it's 1 over 365 now second first part if they both don't have the birthday on the same day so it's more easier to say this probability of not having birthday on same day right can i say that is going to be equal to one takeaway probability of same birthday right because there are only two possibilities either they have the birthday on the same day or they have the birthdays on different days so probability of same birthday or different birthday will add up to be one so probability that they the birthdays are or not not having the birthday on the same day will be one take away the probability of having the birthday on the same day so that is one minus one over 365 which is equals to 365 minus one over 365 which is 365 so it can be any other day of the yeah right next now, a carton means a box is having total how many shirts? 100. So, total outcomes are 100. Out of them, 88 are good. 8 have minor defects and 4 have major defects. Let's first write them out. Okay. Let's note them this and then first we'll note this off. Okay. So, we'll say total number of shirts. That will be our total outcome. Right. Good shirts is 88. Uh, shirt with minor defect is 8 and shirt with major defect is 
right? Now, what is the question saying? There are two people here. Sujata is one trainer, trader, sorry, and Jimmy is the other trader. So, Jimmy and Sujata. Will, uh, so Jimmy is going to take only that shirt, which is good. Whereas Sujata is going to take only is going to reject only those shirts which have major defects. So one shirt is uh, selected randomly. What is the probability that it is acceptable to Jimmy and if it is acceptable to Sujata? So let's talk about the first part for Jimmy. So Jimmy is going to accept how many which type of shirt? Only the good ones. So he's taking good shirts. Only the good shirts he's going to take. So the probability of good shirts. Possible outcomes are. 88 total outcome is 100 because he's not going to take any other shirt with the minor defect or the major defect so that will be 2 over 25 okay whereas for the second person that is sujata she is rejecting which one she is rejecting all the shirts which are having major defects right so she is going to go for good shirts plus the shirts with minor defect she is taking both of them because she thinks that she can uh, make it a little bit of changes and she can still sell. So, good shirts are 88, minor defect shirts are 8 divided by 2 to 100, which is going to be a 96 by 100, right? Which you can change as decimal or it can be a fraction. Better we change it into a decimal. So, on the top also. So, it will be 0 0.88 for this one and this 0 0.96. Okay, now let's go for the next question. Now in the next one, they're saying there are a lot of 20 bulbs. So total is 20 bulbs and they have four defective. So let's note it down. Total number of bulbs is 20. Defective out of them is four. So good bulbs will be out of 20, 4 are defective, right? So 20 take away 4 or minus 4 is 16. 16 bulbs are good, right? So now what the question is saying, one bulb is drawn at random from the lot. What is the probability that this bulb is a defective one? So the first case, they're saying one bulb is already taken out from the lot and it's a defective one the possibility of a defective bulb is 4 total outcome is 20 so it's 1 over 5 which is 0 0.2 correct now the next one they're saying first in first case we have already taken out one defective bulb suppose the bulb drawn is def is not defective and is not replaced okay now one bulb is drawn from the rest so first of all, we have to find out the probability of not defective means the bulb which was drawn was a good bulb. It is taken out and used. So one bulb is already been taken out and used. So in the second case, the good bulb number will reduce by one because one, so which means one bulb is already taken. It is a good one which is used. So it becomes 15 bulbs. Okay. The defective are the same. 4. So total number changes to, sorry, how much? 19. Why? Because one bulb is already been removed from the lot and that removed bulb was a good bulb. Right? Right? Now they are saying, what is the probability that the bulb now is not a defective? Again, read it. Suppose the bulb is drawn, is not defective and it is not replaced. So we have taken one bulb, which is a good bulb and we have not replaced. So that has been removed from the whole lot. So now good bulbs are 15, defective is 4, so total is 19. Correct? Now one bulb is drawn at random from the rest. From the rest means from 19 bulbs. What is the probability that this bulb is not defective? Now what is the probability that this, again when I am selecting the uh, bulb, what is the probability that it is again not defective? Not defective means good bulb. Okay. So now... The number of good bulbs is 15. The total number is 15, 19. Why? Because we have already drawn a bulb. 
which was a good one. We removed it from this lot. So good, the number of good bulbs have also reduced and the total number of bulbs are also reduced. Correct? So therefore, it is 15 and 19. So the probability is 0 0.78. Hope this is clear. Again, suppose a bulb is drawn. It is not defective. means it's a good bulb and it is not replaced. So you remove it. Okay. Next, the probability of an event happening is 0 0.05. So probability of an event not happening will be what? So we know that probability of event happening and probability of not the event happening is 1. When you add them up, the sum of these two probabilities will be 1. So this is 0 0.5 plus probability of not E, which is equal to 1. So probability of not E is 1 take away 0 0.05 which is a 0 0.95, correct? Let's talk about the next one. Malini has, sorry, a bag has lemon flavored candies only. And Malini is trying to take out one candy out. What is the probability that she is taking out an orange candy and a lemon candy? Now, orange candy, do we have any orange candy left present in it? zero and he has some lemon candy so the probability of getting an orange candy is nearly impossible because there is no orange candy so the probability is zero but all the candies present in the bag is lemon candy so the probability of finding the lemon candy or taking out a lemon candy is one again the orange candies they are none so the probability of getting the orange candy is impossible, therefore zero. All the candies present in the bag are lemon. So whichever candy you're going to pick up is going to be a lemon candy. So the probability of picking up a lemon candy is one because it's a certain event. And orange candy is an impossible event. Okay. Next. There are three students in a group. Okay. Two students have the probability that two students are not having the same birthday 0.92. 992 sorry then what is the probability that these two students are going to have the same birthday so what we are going to say the probability of having same birthday plus probability of not having same birthday by the same two people because they are not saying among the three only two are being considered any two okay for the same two students okay so the probability the student two students not having the same birthday and the same same students having the birthday so not having the birthday same is 0 0.992 so having same birthday we can take it as p of e so if the same two students are having a same birthday it will be take away which is 0 0.0 okay next a bag has three red balls and five black balls so total balls are p plus five eight okay red balls are three and black balls are five so what is the first one they are asking us to do the probability of finding red ball right red is three total eight which is zero point Three, six, three, five, seven. Sorry. Okay. The next one. Three, seven, five. Now they are saying it's not a red because there are only two balls, two colored balls. Not red means they are talking about the black balls. Okay. So it's five over eight, which is a zero point five. Yes. No, 0 0.625. Okay. Again, not red because there are only two balls, so it's easier to do it. Okay. Let's do the next one and the last question for today. They're saying there are five red balls, marbles, eight white marbles, and four green marbles. Okay. So total number of marbles are five plus eight plus four, that is 17. Red marbles are five, eight marbles white, and green marbles four. Red will be five by 17. White probability is eight by 17 not green will be 8 plus 5 which is a 13 by 7 okay 